back to my channel. My name is Arlene Sanjines. Today's video is so good. It brings me back to like the OG YouTube days. Meadow just woke up from her nap while I was filming this intro, so she's gonna sit right here with me. Um, but I got everything at Walmart. You guys know if I'm trying to do like an affordable DIY, I look on Walmart. I have the app. You guys should download the app. Where's my phone? It just makes it so easy to find everything you need and you know that it's gonna be the most affordable prices. Okay, I saw this DIY online and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do this. So I'm gonna revamp our entryway. I also got some pieces to go outside. So yeah, this video is sponsored by Walmart. I am so, so, so grateful because you guys know I love shopping there. I love getting all my affordable pieces there and being able to do DIYs like this, like on a budget, just makes things so much easier. So I will have links to everything below. Make sure you guys check out the description box um, because I'll link the exact things that I used. I feel like this DIY can be done a handful of different ways. So I'm putting like my own little spin on it and I think it should turn out really cute. Um, but let's go ahead and show you guys the few things that I got. We got this at Walmart. Is he not so cute? And Meadow loves it too. Like, no, it's scary. It's scary? Yeah, it was. It's not scary, it's cute. Yeah, it is. So this is just the standing scarecrow. It was $7. Like, how precious is this? So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it out, outside or next to all of the little ghosts that I'm about to make. Um, like kind of on the floor to have like this entire entryway vibe. And then this right here. Look, that one we that one we put in water. That one was the baby. Which one? That that little thing over there. See that? Oh yeah. That one when I was a baby. When you were a baby. And then we got this huge skeleton. His head, like, you can kind of mold it <laughs> how you want. His has black in his nose. Oh, he does have black in his nose because he looks like a real skeleton. This is a five foot skeleton and he was only $30. And, and Such... he makes socks. Cause, cause, cause socks. Cause socks are on my dad's. He doesn't have socks on, silly. No socks. Socks? No socks. Frogs? Oh, yeah. he looks like a frog because he's he has his arms folded? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does look like a frog. She's right, look, he's like folded right now. But when we open him up, I'm definitely putting this on our porch. This is exactly what I've been looking for, so I'm so glad I found it on Walmart. And then I got this that says creepy fabric. It's kind of like a cheesecloth, which is what I was originally gonna use for the ghost, but, but okay, but I found this like lace cloth fabric instead. So I thought we're gonna step things up with our ghost. We're gonna have kind of like luxurious lace ghost like i think just looks so different from like a cheesecloth ghost that i've seen online um so that's what we're gonna do and then i also got ribbon to add like little bows onto the ghost i thought that might look really cute we'll see if we end up doing that um and then yeah so let's go ahead and start with the diy it looks like our ghost. those are awesome okay this, whoa let's do it i put one there so i'm got different heights of these so they can look all different. Okay, I'm just setting them on top to kind of see like the sizes of them. They're gonna sound like that. Yeah. This is how we're gonna make our ghosts. But we need eyes. We need Cute. eyes. Yeah, he's, they're gonna need eyes. We got stuff so we can make the eyes too. Set on a cardboard. Um, I'm using this Elmer's Craft Bond Quick Dry because I'm hoping that this just allows for the ghosts to dry faster. And like I said, I will link everything that I use below. Look at mine! Ooh, I like your balloon. Mix it. Are we gonna put the balloons in there? No, I'm gonna put the fabric in there. So that Can I mix? Cause I'm decorating my balloon. You want some on yours? I'm okay, baby. Huh, maybe this one. Uh, okay, I'm gonna decorate this one now. I'm gonna decorate this one now. Okay, so I just measured it out to make sure that I fit. Okay, I think there's a reason people use the cheesecloth. This feels really heavy. Like, I don't know if this is gonna harden up the way it's supposed to. <laughs> hey, can you hear me about that key boo over there? It's some of you. Which one is it, baby? That one, that one over there. What is it? It's a boon. Over there, one. 
for the eyes, I'm gonna do this little fabric quarter that I got. Okay, my camera turned off for some reason, but I just glued them on with the Mod Podge and a little bit of the glue. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other ones. So I just cut out two more little like circle fabric pieces. Oh, good job. You guys, look at Meadow over here. Like, show us, show us what you're doing, baby. It needs legs. It needs legs? Yeah. The ghosts don't have legs. They just float around. They go, ooh, spooky. She did. She did that all by herself. That's pretty good. You did a good job, baby. Can I can make it mine. Yours. Okay. Can I can make it mine? Okay. Those little eyeballs are on. <laughs> They're looking so cute. So I got ribbon on Walmart, but I also got these little flowers. I thought I was gonna want to make a bow, but I'm starting to think that it might be a little too heavy. I feel like just the lighter, the better. And these are super light. It's so hard to show you guys is because I cannot move these because they have to dry here. So there's only like so many places that I can put the camera, which is why it's hard to show you guys. Here we go. And a one, two, a one, two, three, four. Do the skeleton dance. Everybody do the skeleton. Everybody do the skeleton. Everybody do the skeleton. Oh, 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 oh. And I got you. Everybody do that skeleton. Everybody do that skeleton. Everybody do that skeleton. Whoa! My feet. I need to straighten them out a little more. Isn't that cool? I'm taller than that. I know. I said it. it's so cool how it. Uh, it's so big. Click in the place. Like, you like thirty dollars. And you can adjust it. Yeah. It's freaking Hi. Dope. Hello. 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 on these cuties so they're actually starting to dry up it's like 10 p.m. now so I think yeah they've been drying for about six hours now um, I didn't think that this would work if you guys recall but it seems like it's it's hardening up I don't know if it's gonna harden up enough to like hold its shape but what I did differently with this one and it already feels harder and like more dry I added cornstarch so I added cornstarch to a few of them, yeah, and they kind of seem harder. So I still did the glue, water, and then the only other thing was I added like a heaping tablespoon of cornstarch. This guy, <laughs> he's so funny, but I just left him there because the balloon, it like deflated. I don't know what, if there was like a hole in it. So he's just chilling, he's he's a dud. But um, yeah, this guy, like all the ones that I added cornstarch to, I think, that I did even later are feeling harder. This is why I did so many different things and this is why it's kind of like a trial and hopefully you guys can learn from this. Um, add cornstarch, it makes it a lot harder. So these are so cute though. I still love the ones with the little bow. Okay, let me quickly show you guys the rest of the things that came in and then tomorrow um, in the morning, Meadow and I will decorate and like actually put everything where we think it'll look good. Mostly the entryway, but I think we're also gonna do like, I'll show you these hats in the kitchen. So we got these little Halloween garland witch hats. How cute is this? A little garland with witch hats. We're just gonna hang this across the kitchen. I know Meadow's gonna love that. I'm telling you, she's just obsessed with everything Halloween. And then I got a few different like textured pumpkins. This one has like this little plaid on it. I thought that was so cute. And that was only a dollar something, 98 cents. Oh my gosh. I wish I would have gotten more of those now that I think about it. 
Um, and then this Halloween wood chip, I got two of these. I just like like the neutral woodsy tones of that. And then I also did this little three tier harvest um, fabric pumpkin, $11.98, so cute. And then I also got this table runner. I just really liked the colors of it. Pretty simple. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this on the entry table or on our dining table. We'll see where it ends up going. Again, I will have links to everything below and then the rest are all just a bunch of real pumpkins. So I did get all of that from Walmart as well. Like I'm telling you, they have everything and the prices are just the best. Oh my gosh, Meadow's crying upstairs. It's, Weston's putting her down to sleep. And Good morning. Everything seems pretty dry and I'm talking softly because Meadow's playing upstairs and I want to move these things so that I'm able to give her breakfast. But this right here seems like the most solid, this little lace one that I did at the end. Let's pop the balloon and take it out and then move it over to the entryway. Oh yeah, I just opened it so we can get some natural light. I'm gonna be 